If you watched our last episode on nuclear physics, then you must be aware of the units of physical quantities used in nuclear physics. In that episode, we discussed the unit of energy, mass, cross-action, radioactivity, spin, and electric quadrupole moment. We discussed why MeV is the preferred unit of energy by nuclear physicists. We calculated the mass of electron, proton, and neutron in MeV per cs square. In this episode, we will talk about a special kind of units used by researchers in nuclear and particle physics called natural units. Natural units are physical units of measurement based only on universal physical constants. Here units are redefined so that the speed of light and reduced Planck constant becomes equal to 1. That is c equal to 1 and h cross equal to 1. Once we fixed c equal to 1 and h cross equal to 1, all other kinematical units can now be expressed in terms of unit of energy. Now if you choose MeV as the unit of energy, which is obvious in nuclear physics, then all the basic physical quantities like length, area, time, mass, momentum, decay rate, cross-section, etc. can be expressed in terms of power of MeV. So let's start to find natural units of these quantities one by one. For any kind of system, either relativistic or non-relativistic, we have a famous formula that can nicely relate the total energy, momentum and mass of the system. And that formula is E square equal to PC square plus MC square whole square. Here E is total energy, P is momentum, M is mass and C is the speed of light. From the dimensional analysis, one can easily say that the dimension of PC equal to dimension of MC square equal to dimension of E. But if you choose a unit in which C equal to 1, then the equation becomes E square equal to P square plus M square. And you can measure the momentum and mass in MeV. Now for example, let's we have a system where energy, momentum and mass are given in natural units. Suppose you have energy E equal to 10 MeV, momentum P equal to 8 MeV and mass M equal to 6 MeV. Then how do you convert these quantities in SI units? So let's do it now. We have 1 MeV equal to 10 to the power 6 times 1.6 into 10 to the power uh, minus 19 Joule and which is equal to 1.6 times 10 raised to power minus 13 Joule. So the value of energy in SI unit can be calculated as E equal to 10 MeV which is equal to 10 times 1.6 times 10 raised to power minus 13 Joule and which is equal to 1.6 times 10 raised to power minus 12 Joule. And the momentum can be calculated as P equal to 8 MeV per C because momentum is energy upon uh, C. So P equal to 8 MeV per C which is equal to 8 times 1.6 times 10 raised to power minus 13 Joule divided by 3 times 10 raised to power 8 meter per second and which is equal to 4.27 times 10 raised to power minus 21 kilogram meter per second. And the mass can be calculated as M equal to 6 MeV per C square which is equal to 6 times 1.6 times 10 raised to power uh, minus 13 joule divided by 3 times 10 raised to power 8 meter per second whole square which is equal to 1.07 times 10 raised to power minus 29 kg. Now let's see what is the unit of length and unit of uh, time in natural units. You know that H cross has the unit of energy into time, right? So the unit of time will be the unit of H cross upon unit of energy. But in natural units, H cross equal to 1. So the unit of time will be 1 upon unit of energy, that is 1 upon MeV. And you also know that C has unit of length uh, divided by time. So the unit of time will be the unit of length upon unit of C. But in natural units, C equal to 1, so the unit of time will be the unit of length, that is 1 upon MeV. Now, what will be the unit of cross-section in natural units? As you know, the cross-section has units of area, right? 
So in natural units, the cross section is measured in 1 upon MeV square. The reaction rate has unit of 1 upon time and hence the natural units of uh, reaction rate is MeV. Now let's find the uh, natural unit of velocity. Velocity can be measured in terms of C and in natural unit C is equal to 1 which is a constant. So velocity is dimensionless in natural units. Now let's calculate the unit of charge in natural units. For that let's start with a fine structure constant which is dimensionless also. The fine structure constant is given by alpha equal to E square upon 4 pi epsilon naught H cross C and it is nearly equal to 1 by 137 which is a constant. So as we know C square is equal to 1 upon epsilon naught uh, mu naught. So if you choose the constant epsilon naught equal to 1 then it automatically sets mu naught equal to 1. And if you choose the constant epsilon naught equal to 1 upon 4 pi, then mu naught will be 4 pi. Actually, you have to choose the value of epsilon naught and mu naught in such a way that the value of C becomes 1. So let's choose epsilon naught equal to 1 upon 4 pi and mu naught equal to 4 pi. So the fine structure constant will be alpha equal to E square upon 4 pi epsilon naught h cross C. And this implies that 1 upon 137 equal to E square upon 4 pi into 1 upon 4 pi into 1 into 1, which gives you the value of E equal to 0 0.85436. This is dimensionless in natural units. If you want to take epsilon naught equal to 1 and mu naught equal to 1, then alpha equal to E square upon 4 pi epsilon naught h cross C. And this implies that 1 upon 137 equal to E square upon 4 pi into 1 into 1 into 1. And it gives you the value of E equal to 0 0.302862 which is nearly equal to 0 0.303. And again it is a dimensionless. So the charge is dimensionless in natural units. So this is all about the natural units. I hope the concept of natural units is crystal clear to you now. I am leaving you with some numerical questions related to natural units. Please solve these questions for a better understanding of natural units. Thank you so much for watching this video.